There she is. Hello everybody, it's Jason. We're going to be keeping again. Um, this is the third video for today. I'm trying to catch up on some of the videos I've not been posting like I mentioned several times that uh, just a lot going on and trying to get videos done and uploaded and just things aren't working out so I had a few minutes this morning to make a several so I'll be uploading a couple a nice couple days so uh, just pay attention to that um, this is my new ape and hive that I showed I got bees in that we're gonna check to see how they're doing and this is a swarm I caught with an eight frame box I'm just gonna talk about that for a minute uh, so the purpose of this video is my swarm traps. Um, I've got an eight frame box here and then one over here, both have swarms in them. And I just find that they're super, super useful. Um, I think a 10 frame box is a bit too big, even though I do have one swarm trap that's that size. But these eight frame boxes I find work really well for many reasons. Number one, they're smaller, more compact, and the bees seem to like the space that that gives them. And I put four frames in there and then leave the other space empty. But then when I get a swarm, I've got to come back and make sure they're not building comb from the top obviously on the lid down and um, add more frames and then I could just actually leave them in this box there's an entrance in the front there no big deal if I ever want to transfer them out I have the option to do that so these a-frame boxes are really universal in that way and uh, I really um, really enjoy using those I don't primarily use eight frames uh, boxes for my colonies I go all 10 frame um, but I do have some that are in eight frames just simply because of that reason I caught a swarm it worked out and just went with it. So uh, I've not opened this box up since I caught the swarm. So this is gonna be a first reveal here. So let's take the lid off here and we'll see what we got. Like I said, hopefully there's not a lot of crazy combs. So let's see what happens. Get the smoker going here. The smoker's been messing with me today. There we go. Oh yeah. Nothing but wild comb, which is what I was afraid of. Dang it. So this is what you always want to be careful of right there. There's nothing but wild comb on that. So all the brood and things that are laid in here, I'm going to have to shake off, which is not good. And hopefully the queen is not on here. And I'll turn it upside down like that. It is very pretty looking though, clearly. Check that out. And I'm gonna give them some frames here to work with. So they've been in there about a week and a half. Clearly that is too long because they do have some comb in here, but not a lot on the frames that I put in. So I'm gonna give them some frames to clean up in hopes that that makes everybody else happy and we'll see what happens. Some of these frames are just really old, but it's what I got to work with, so that's what I'm gonna use. And I'll come back and change these frames out for better frames, obviously, but now I've gotta deal with this, because most of them are over here still. Not the best way to get your queen into our new colony, I'll just tell you right now. So, it's kind of a bummer they go through all that work. I got to get rid of it now. But, be real careful and look for the queen here. I don't see any eggs here yet. There's a couple here in this piece. Mm. So yeah, this is why when you get those swarms, man, you want to get right on them, get them transferred into another box because this is what you end up with if you don't. <clears throat> Which is a real bummer 
because all that work they've had for a week and a half is now going bye bye. So, hoping the queen might be already in here that I shook her off in there. Hopefully she's okay. <clears throat> they got cat brooding here already. Man, that sucks. I'll put this actually over here in case they want to walk in over here. See if that'll get any better for them here. Yeah, it's all larva and brood, man, it stinks. <clears throat> Try to smoke them off that, I guess. Like I said, it's both good and bad, man. Double-edged sword with these boxes when you only put four frames in there, they've got to build comb, that's what they do, so. Now I've got to make them start over, unfortunately. That's just kind of the way it is. Oh, there's the queen right there. There she is. So let's get her down here. There she goes. She just crawled in. Cool. So now I'm good to go. Got the queen in there. I saw her walk in. I'm gonna just split the rest of this out real quick now. Come on, girls, get in there. Yeah, they didn't take long building comb, man. I got the other, the other one over there too. I'm not really looking forward to having to mess with it. It'll probably be the same situation. Good little swarm though. I mean, nothing wrong with that as far as the size. Decent sized little swarm. Good looking queen. Probably this year's queen actually, I would guess. So there's that. I'm gonna give them some pollen now to keep them going. I just took what they had. That's another really important thing when you're doing this. If they start building comb inside your box and they're storing honey and pollen, like you gotta give them something because you just took all of that when you tear that down. Uh, you gotta, you know, if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna ruin what they just did, you better fix it. Basically, is what I'm getting at. So I'll just lay that big old chunk right there. I'm gonna give them a fabric inner cover now, so they don't build any more wild cone to that lid. In hopes they'll start using some of that other stuff in there. <clears throat> and I'll keep this lid on it. <clears throat> And away we go. So we're all done. So now I gotta check the other one out. Hopefully I'm not in the same situation, but uh, kind of the way it is with swarms, they wanna build comb and they're gonna do that. So uh, you wanna get to them as quick as you can, get them out of that box as quick as you can. Uh, so you're not ripping out all their home stuff. So that's kind of a lame deal. Um, but I do find that only having four frames in the swarm boxes and giving them that space, because if they wanna build the comb, it does help them actually stay in the box um, so it's a catch-22 a little bit a little bit of a give and take but you gotta do what you gotta do um, anyway this video again about eight frame swarm traps um, how to use them what to do with them um, it's all good stuff uh, I'll pick up all this comb and I'll just melt that down it won't, won't go to you uh, won't go to waste I'll use that obviously and hopefully they'll take off in this box and from there so um, I'm gonna check this other swarm right here um, but yeah if you have questions about the swarm traps if you have questions about um, why you know why I feel this works better or how do I hang them or what do I look for uh, please feel free to leave me a comment um, or a question and but uh, you know if you like the videos if you find them informative uh, please like and subscribe um, I'm not in this to make money I'm not in this to have a huge channel or anything but I am in this to help people in Oregon have a better understanding of how to keep bees in our unique area and our unique climate um, so uh, if you like that give me a thumbs up subscribe and uh, let me know if you have any questions have a great day